Technology was not the star of the NRF actually. The star was customer experience. Why buying experiences make people happier than buying things? Something we call experience, which is a complete combination of service, engagement, vision, values. In that case, you get the customer to anticipate and to remember events. Our hypothesis is that the winning retailers will have to establish a vision which is as ambitious as this. Going from servicing a customer from uh, delivering a product to really building uh, an experience that customers will remember. If they don't remember that experience because it's not powerful enough, including in store, the cost of re-engaging will be too high in the future. Retailers are starting in an unfavorable position. Innovation is there, finance is there, it's been fueling huge customer experience redesign and, and it's been addressing the experience gap. Nordstrom says how important online e-commerce has become for the retailer as shoppers increasingly migrate online and bypass shopping malls and department stores. Millennial shoppers, not to mention Zen shoppers, the next generation, okay, who don't see a stop in a mall or in a shop as a critical piece of the customer experience. They're going for data, they're going for frequent data, they're going for your lifestyle intimacy. This is a shopping journey, right? You recognize it. We call it the super omni-channel. Super omni-channel is what you guys do every day. And we're getting ready to help customers on this, is that all brands, consumer good brands, luxury brands, and retailers are going to run out of content. Instead of discussing at length long-term vision and strategy and so on, the best thing is, is to take a store, build a pilot, Put a lot of money on that store, be ready to lose money on that store, but at least engage with the consumer, engage with, uh, with clients and test all those, uh, the, those journey in a store and outside of the store.